video, we're going to go over some of the math that you can do using JavaScript. You'll notice that I have started by both declaring, which is creating a variable and assigning it a place in memory, and initializing, which is assigning initial value to a variable. My variable is answer, and I have assigned the initial value of zero. I have a document.write statement. I could have just done this as an H1 tag. I'm just trying to do everything in JavaScript right now. This is the page when it's done. You see math is here and it's centered because it picks up the same styles as my cascading style sheet. So even though I've done the heading one inside of the JavaScript, it's still a heading one, so the style sheet styles still apply. Okay, so this is what was in the answer portion of my um, finished page. So each line here corresponds to a line of my JavaScript code. So my first line, again, put the heading on, which we already saw, and then I'm setting my answer. I don't need to redeclare it. It already exists. But I can set the value in the variable answer equal to 2 plus 2, which should be 4. I do a document.write statement, add answer to it, and you'll notice that I get 2 plus 2 equals 4. I should have put a space in there to make it look prettier. It won't change in my picture, but you can notice that I don't have a space between my equal sign and my 4 because I did not do that. 15 minus 3 equals 12. This is your multiplication symbol, 7 times 6 equals 42. 12 divided by 3, the slash is your division sign, equals 4. 12 divided by 5 equals 2.4. When you divide, you will get a decimal point. That's because we did not, in JavaScript, it's a loosely typed variable. It doesn't matter if we have it declared as an integer or a float it will automatically adapt because it's loosely typed. You couldn't have done that in C++ unless everything was declared as a double or another um, variable with a floating point in it. In JavaScript, it's all good. It's fine. Modulus gives you the remainder. It's common to use this when you're trying to determine if something is odd or even because if you get a remainder of 0, it's even, divisible by 2. If you get a remainder of 1, it's odd. But when you get, do a modulus application, 12 modulus 5, 12 divided by 5 is 2, with a remainder of 2. You're getting the remainder here. I'm just setting answer equal to 1. Answer equals 1. This is the one so that's a little goofy. If you do a plus plus, it increments. It adds 1 to the number. So I have answer plus plus equals answer plus plus. Now it does actually increment it, but not until after it displays it. So the order of operations here is it displays what's currently an answer, which is 1, because it hasn't changed yet, then it changes it. Now here I'm incrementing it again. So this time, answer now equals 3. Be aware of that to make sure that you do what you intend to when you increment it. If you want to increment it before you display it, or after. And then answer minus minus will decrement it. That'll take it down to 2. So those are your basic math operations in JavaScript. Precedence does matter, so does parentheses. It's your basic math rules.